We're back. Dang and Rampa. Let's make a distraction for Kyoko. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time, and I like every other time she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. Now everything's gonna be fine, I know it, but it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety, and then I got to work. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me right out of here. I got a bone to pick with you. Then a few moments later. Monokuma appears! Well, well, this is a surprise. I didn't think you'd be the one to call me out. Hey, hey, hey by the way, huh? Most what were you and Kyoko up to? You gone to the bathhouse, just the two of you in the middle of the night. Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet, so wet and warm. I bet you guys removed to conform with local and international censorship laws. <laughs> Is that a bit or is that like a real issue? I, I'm gonna assume it's a bit. All over her, didn't ya? Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. Well, I like to maintain a healthy life of observation far away from X-rated exploits. Oh, so is that why there's no surveillance camera in the bathhouse? Bullseye. Or is it because you, the lens gets all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. Something? Anyway, you went into all that trouble to get me out here, so what do you want? Oh, well, there's just something I wanted to confirm with you. What? Whether I'm a mademoiselle or a dude fella? Actually... But in the Bear Kingdom, there is no male or female. Uh, actually, there is. What? Seriously? My then what am I? Existence. <laughs> That's enough. I'll suck it out with the VDX too much. So, what do you really want to ask me? Oh, well, it's all that your precious had been stolen. What is this precious of yours? What do you think? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be a hundred megaton freaking kidding me. You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey or urson breeding tips. This is just crazy. Are all pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and a blank. That's it. A key. What? What does that mean? A key and. That's it. What was that second thing? It's a blank, stupid. A secret. Fill it in yourself. <laughs> so we went. Someone stole my key and my. Making me charge all the way out here. I'd like to see what's gonna going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you saw me for something so stupid, I'll open your skull and find out. Drop me more than a few swear words. Monokuma stormed off. Ooh. Hope I kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyogo makes it out okay. Nah, she'll be fine. It's Kyogo after all. I'm sure she's fine, right? How many days has it been? <laughs> the, I know we have a three-day countdown to some kind of horrible incident, and I'm and I'm banking on it being horrible. Nap time. Monokuma Theater. Monokuma Theater, brought to you by Spike Tune Soft Company Limited. Ooh, Spike Tune Soft Company Limited. I love them. Was that the whole Monokuma Theater? Oh, this is like a freaking. What is this? This is like a real ass animation. I, is this episode gonna get a freaking copyright because of how good this is? I wouldn't be shocked. Is it a video game starring Sakura? Is it a trailer for a video game? Is that why it's brought to me by, by Chunsoft? Those are cool weapons she's got. Oh, big Monokuma. He's big. Get him, Sakura. Bonk him real good. Hit him with the old bonk bonk. Sakura's Revenge, the game the world's been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been canceled. Of course, if people buy Danganronpa, who knows? So buy copies for you and all your friends. Poo hoo! I mean, I bought Danganronpa, and I've enjoyed it a lot thus far. Hmm, hmm super stylish, super fashionable game was canceled during development, but it'll start back up if Danganronpa then sells you guys well. Have to recommend it to your friends too. Hey man, you got two sequels out of this. I'm sure you can make Sakura's Revenge. You have a whole Switch pack coming soon. That's a ding dong bing bong at the morning thing. I've got a bunch of text. Let me just make sure that one's dead. My sister just started watching my my serial tier list and I'm getting updates as she goes along. But thankfully I explain everything in the video, so I don't need the answer. <laughs> Good morning. Morning everyone. morning. 
Get ready to greet another, another beautiful, beautiful day. day. My body feels so heavy this morning. It must be because I was up so late last night. Anyway, get to the dining hall. Oh boy, Kyoko, I swear. There's, it hasn't, it, there's been three days. Yeah, let's leave the area. The dining hall. But Kyoko check. Very concerned about her well being. Uh oh. What? You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. What's your problem? You really think a tired excuse like that is gonna work? Oh, are you allowed to talk again? I don't recall giving you permission. Huh? I just thought, I mean, since a day had passed, it maybe it reset. Sorry, please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang a sign from my neck that says, Bad girl, I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I'll forgive you. Thank you, I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise. If I do, you can slip my mouth full of trash. As long as it's you and no one else, I don't mind. It's no use, she's disgusting to the bone. So, um, anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Not cool, this is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for a wedding, for anything. Um, Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not gonna show up anymore? I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just keep Very quiet. Strange. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so. You know? Oh yeah, you still have her key, right? What's this? Oh, are you looking for a Miss Kirigiri? Yeah, what do you want hey, hey. I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is? Do you know where she is? Mm, well, it's hard to say. Oh, huh? you don't know either? What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here, to try and prod us for information. Uh -huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is and they name some indie bullcrap? I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he changes subjects like that. Thank goodness it's not like Monokuma really didn't notice. But I guess our plan went off without fine just last night, which could mean... Hey. Maybe the Mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Is she even right about that? Hey. So, hey. was that right? You're looking for Miss Kirigiri? Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. We have no idea. And even if we did know, he wouldn't tell you. We're serious. Hmm. hmm, I see. Well, fine, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers. As soon as he was gone, we glanced around at each other. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Hmm. It would seem that you way. Know? Where the heck could she have gone? Um, Don't, do you think that there's, we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to look at her. Suspicious. Yeah, how can she, he not know where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice, where could it be? Shrug. The rest of us are talking about where Kyoko could have gone afterwards. We return to our rooms. Why don't we just do like a floor to floor sweep? Each person take a floor. It's because that would inter interfere with the fact that I've got free time. Say it. There it is. Oh, well, I'm probably not going to be able to talk to Kyoko. So I guess uh, we'll, we'll abide by our old school rule of whomsoever we bump into first. Is there anyone in immediate bump distance? Check the dining hall. If there's no one in the dining hall, I'm going right up to the fifth floor. All right, that's a fifth floor, baby. Fifth floor, don't look. Don't look at who's anywhere. Just click it. Send it. All right. Check the, the botany room, I guess. Ooh, dealer's choice. I don't like you. So we're gonna talk to Bakugan. What? What, did you need something? Hmm, should I talk to Bakugan for a while? Absolutely, he's my new best That's friend. Fine. fine, I don't mind allowing you to indulge in I hope you appreciate this. Oh, I should've gone to the school store and bought some stuff. Okay, I go a little closer today. Would I like to give him a present? Yeah, for sure, dude. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna go from the bottom up. Not those ones, though. Chin drill, arrowhead, cat dog, boy changing ball tie, small light, hummus. I think he, there's a chance he'll like someone's graduation album. I gave him the poop globe last time and he liked it. I'm gonna go for someone's graduation album. You think you can move me with this? I'm not easily impressed. Oh no, he didn't like someone's graduation album. 
F. I'm getting the chill. This is bad. I might be getting sick. How am I getting sick? Anyway, let's go to the uh, let's go to the school store real quick. I don't think I can buy more than like five things, but I regret not having more stuff. Give me stuff. I want stuff. I would. All right, we have 110, 25% chance. Let's get that down to zero percent. Looks like we're gonna get about four plays out of this. I was guaranteed no repeats, but I definitely already have a poop ball. At least we know it's a free Bakugan thing that he likes, unless you can't give repeat items. And I got the bandages I gave Sakura. I'm mad, it said zero percent, did it not? Yo, I'm triple lucky though, that's wild. Hey, that's a new item. Most of the time we got them in the opposite order, I guess. All right, let's slam dunk in some more coinage. Ooh, that's a weird thing. All right, this is gonna be the last play, bro. We might be able to squeeze one more out of this. What is that, a clamp? Lucky! Oh boy, the voice changing bow tie. Triple lucky, or I guess double lucky, triple item. Let's go, chips. All right, I guess we'll just pump the rest into this. Wow, we have just enough to have one dollar left over. Ooh, a thing. Not lucky, F. All right, let's get out of here. There were definitely people on the first floor. I saw it myself, so let's just, uh, let's just, uh, go this way. I don't know who it was, but I definitely saw outlines, and that's enough for me. Um, this way, right? Yep. The Spare Hotel. Where we be sleeping. All right. Okay. All right, okay. All right, okay. All right, okay. Return of the Mac. What it does, what it is, what it does, what it isn't. I have no idea where it, it did say there was someone here, right? Looking for a better way to get up out of bed as I get in on the internet and check it out. Hemi, get up, drift shot, pimp struck, walking. Those are probably the words. Those are at least all almost the words. Take two. You're gonna be my friend this time around. Absolutely. That's fine. <laughs> I make you physically ill. We're gonna try this again. We got some cool stuff that I think you'll like. All right, Bakugan. You didn't like the. You didn't like. Uh, the yearbook, but how do you feel about a man's fantasy? It's just a, is it not just a bucket? <laughs> how do you feel about a golden airplane? I see. Let's go! Wait, 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 what's up? Give a bit. Hey, what's up, dude? You know, only a chosen few, perhaps 1% of us are able to be so successful in, in other life. Words. For the other 99%, their dreams never come true. Some never even have a dream in the first place. Putting every waking hour toiling to scrap by together a meager living, just barely getting by. I don't understand. Is there any meaning to a life like that? Why are you asking me? Because you're part of that 99%, of course. Why do you even feel like I didn't need to ask? I know you going to insult me somehow. Up until now, I've never been around anyone like that, so I'm interested. So tell me, how does it feel to live a life without hope, without any potential or ambition? Dude, come on. I don't have an amb I, I don't have ambition or dreams. I've never felt that way about myself. I mean, sure, maybe I'll never be as rich as you or anything, but do you have to go around saying that to everyone? Can you only be happy by being better than others? Your complaints are as old as tired as a third-rate pop song from any generation. And yet, those are the words of 99%. 
That is how you find comfort in your tiny, cold little world. Stop saying stuff like that. Sorry, I can't not speak the truth. No matter how much you push and struggle, people like you will never be able to get positioned to change the world. You could all disappear tomorrow and nothing would change. Your existence is no consequence. Whether that's true or not, it doesn't matter. Even if you live a totally normal, unimportant life, you can still find happiness in that. If I can live a life that I'm satisfied with, that's all that matters. If I spent all my time comparing my life to other people, I'd never be happy. Sure, maybe you could do that. You were guaranteed this from the day you were born, what? so hold it. From the day I was born? You have no idea. You don't have any clue about what you're talking about. What? What? Those who are chosen from birth have no concept of what that truly means. I've gone to battle and emerged victorious. That is why I'm the chosen one. What are you talking about? You're spoiled, all of you. Running around into a world self-indulgent battle competition rivalry, you all run away from it. That is why the 99% walk the path that they Such do. Ignorance. Good God, your absolute lack of understanding makes me want to weep. And he's gone. All right, see you, Bakugan. We had double Bakugan there. That was fun. We updated his report card and we got Envious Influence as an ability. Let's go. Couldn't stop thinking about Bakugan while I went back to my room. He's on the brain, dude. Good guy, Bakugan. Gem. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. Oh, man. Can't help it. I need sleep. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. When I dropped my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. Tomorrow's the day of the tragedy, right? My math checks out. And we back between sleep and wakefulness, which is all to say. Oh, damn, dude. You're sleeping in your hoodie? That's definite sick stuff. Restless. Ugh. At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. But in that dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under. I under. Understand. understand. That voice, it's so familiar. Oh, I it's. Understand. Is it not my voice? It's me! <laughs> it is me. I understand. Understand? I should understand. Is everything. he about the Matrix out of the shit? My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Doggy doggy what now? Hope. This is all for hope. What is this, the third episode of What If? Marvel, check it out, Disney Plus. They don't pay me. And that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. Weird, weird fever dream. <laughs> Damn, I'm not feeling good. Uh, my dream just now. What? So strange. Very huh? strange. Hey, what's going on, pal? You took my Bowie knife. Uh, oh my, stuff's happening. Pant, 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 pant. Yoko! Kyoko? What the? What the? What did, what did you, you? What did you say? What's going on here? That was weird. Um, I don't think that was. Oh no! I think I know what just happened. That I'm. 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 Oh no! Was that the, that might have been the 16th murder student trying to murder me and to protect me? Kyoko killed them, but in doing so, were like that, there I needs to be a trial it. and a verdict. Oh, that better not have been what happened. I better not wake up to a body on my floor. That would what one one day, two day, three day. This is day three. Good morning, everyone. Get is it day three? <laughs> Don't be day three. Room looks clean. Room room looks room looks good. Maybe maybe it was all a dream. Yeah, yeah, you definitely weren't feeling well, and then you had a voice stream. I remember all that. Let's talk about that last bit. Let's talk about that last bit with Kyoko. There, there they are. 
holding it. That's my knife. I should check to see if the knife is there. Yeah, Kyoko is there. Do I just like sleep with the door open? We can we'll we'll check for if the knife's in here. Yeah, knife's gone. And so is my toolkit. Quick phone check. Blah, blah, blah. Gotta finish this video. That would be Andrew, aka City Hall. We might be doing a uh, a crossover episode. Wasn't a dream after all. That's true. This makes everything less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was that behind the mask? And why was Kyoko? What's going on? Well, I don't think I want to figure it out on my own. I should do the dining hall. I can talk to everyone else about it. Let's do it. In the area, yeppers. I'm I'm nervous. I am. Con I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take. It. I don't even know. This is, this is a. Is is this a stronger emotion? I'm not just nervous. I'm concerned. Hey, it's Owie. Hey, Makoto. Ah, Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure is. The sky is blue. Hey, Hina. Just making no one else here. Um. Really had me worried. You know what happened to you last night? Worried. I mean, yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know. <laughs> I mean, not that it actually happened. I mean, nobody here would want to, you know. So anyway, what were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. Why did you come to get me? Did something happen? Mm. Uh, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really okay. explain. Let's meet up with everyone else. They can tell you about it. So is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? Oh, yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? <laughs> I lost that rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get to get breakfast for everyone. Okay. So you got, just got here in time. Come on, help me carry it. Okay, sure. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Hurry, I'll meet you there. The gym. Why is everyone in the gym? The entire night? Doggy, doggy, what now? The gym is that way. Do, 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 do. It's a long walk to the gym. You gotta dodge all this meaningless riffraff. And then not to mention the gym has a lobby for some reason. <laughs> All right, in we go. Ah, ah there he is. This oh, is worse hey, than being Mikoto. late for your wedding, the birth of your own son, your own funeral what? all at once. Shut up now, like it's no big deal. You may have to stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed. But like he said, everyone was there besides Kyoko. Now I noticed they'd formed a circle around something. They saw something I was, what the? Before I could catch myself, I'd cried out. It's right in front of them. Where the remains what of Monokuma? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Well, I mean, it's a robot, but yeah, I guess the concept is the same. Yeah, that's right. She's not even faced. This must have happened last night. <laughs> hmm. Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but what is this? What are you guys doing? Uh, you're the guy I want to talk to in this situation. Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you tearing apart something like that? Isn't dangerous. If you hadn't been sleeping, you'd already know what's going on. Hey, well, on. I guess I'll handle it. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. Hmm. Biagi found this little fellow lying around, and we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. What? Before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new, any, any new information about her, her disappearance. And I found him here, just like normal, however. When I found him... He was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react and say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? I waited until nighttime officially began, but still Makuma laid there motionless. I got everyone up as quickly as they could take a look. Too fast, Tyler, too fast. Even then, he still didn't make a move, so I immediately initiated the disassembly process. Herpy. <laughs> it was a master stroke of genius to chance to find out what made Makuma tick. <laughs> One thing led 
One thing we discover is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Who, ha who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, what I'm wondering is why did he stop moving all of a sudden? Hmm. I thought maybe he'd malfunction, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. So if he didn't so break down, then words. maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind, something unexpected? I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected. They were probably so scared of the master, they ran away in terror. Or maybe they got sick or something, but Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that, if not the mastermind? Hmm. Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set it to a timer and plays as necessary. Hmm. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey. hey guys, I don't think it's a good time for a light hey, conversation. Yo. I just found something. What is that? Um, it's... Huh? It's what? Hmm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. A, a bomb? That's super bad. We need to get rid of it. Roger that. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements, it's sure to go off. Motion sensor? We're serious? Ah, oh, I'm starting to get all shaky. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Ah, ah, ah. You're not fine. You're all ah, ah, ah. Oh, I probably should have mentioned the motion sensor is off right now. Ah, ah, ah. Jeez, don't scare me like that. God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Hey, come on, the century's just getting started. Don't call me that race already. Whatever, just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hang on to it. it's not gonna do anyone any good. Uh, um, oh yeah, good call. Well? Okay, it's down, everything's all good. Here, put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at this point. My eyes were glued to the Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the mass one that they weren't expecting? But what could that have been? Well, I thought about it and... I couldn't help but think back to the night before, being attacked by the masked figure. Just a second. Hey, uh, Makoto, huh? Hey. Don't haas. Didn't, didn't you hear what we just said, huh? Hmm? That's a no. What, were, what are you, some kind of brain-dead farm animal? Sorry. Mm. We were saying since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> We decided to continue our offensive assault clear to try and uncover the mastermind's true identity. We're going to break into the headmaster's room, really? Naturally. Since the mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, wouldn't you agree? But if the mastermind comes back while we're in there, if you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. Or go live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens. You'd be chicken number six. This is a battle. A fight to the death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we get the chance now. Come on. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away or are you going to fight? You're right. Let's do it's it. All clear now. Okay, then we're gonna bring in the headmaster's room. Everyone, come with me down this morning. Anything that can happen, so prepare yourself. I'll follow you anywhere, buddy. Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? I can do this. I'm a man. I can do this. I've been got the will. The entire universe on my side. We found. We each found determination in our own ways. When we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. Ah, I was like, this is where stuff's gonna go stupid. talk to everyone before the big reveal naturally man is one of the such bravery it just makes you get, not want to get in his way okay thought he was gonna be watching over us so we're definitely gonna find something to help us bring this to an end hmm we finally reached the climax so let's hurry up and finish it before the mastermind catches us all let's go this is where we expose every last detail of the mastermind is everyone ready flip Rattle, rattle. Hmm. It's locked as expected. So, what are you gonna do? Is it obvious? We're gonna tear the door up the hinges. Wait, but the rules say we've seen that the mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But, but like Makoto said, the mastermind did show up while we were in there. So in other words, then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Hey. Okay, sure, what? but we've come this far. We can't back down now. We agreed this is what we need to do, so we have to do it. So beautiful. I mean, for serious. What the heck? We don't have any choice, we're desperate. Okay. Let's do it, let's rip this door down. Actually. Oh yeah, how are we gonna do that? The thing's locked, it looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? Oh, a pickaxe? Oh, so oh yeah, the pickaxe. I see. Interesting, that could be exactly what we need. Hmm. Now then, Toko, what time is it? <laughs> well, when we left the gym, it was just before nine o'clock, so it's probably nine it's dot now. now. Oh yeah, the, get, get the pickaxe, and we'll be back here by 9.01. <laughs> That's straight up unreasonable. <laughs> I by myself? Naturally. Surely you have like to have me your own Surely you like to have your me time once in a while, right? Well if it's me and you time, Master, then what? yeah. You know how much time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. Yeah. Unaccept oh, oh my god, can I do a lemon grab? Unacceptable! I can't. I cannot do a lemon grab. With that, Toko ran off. Loud. Hey. 
For serious though, we just gonna knock this door down? No problem, is it solving and by running away? Find your stones, be a man, he's right. Be a man, eat the beans. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. That's what Kyoko you said to me. All your time trying to avoid danger, She's dead. This is gonna fucking suck. Forward. I'm gonna be upset. You know the danger, but that risk means solving the mystery. We have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenge in front of us. Uh, um... Maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I'm all flabusta, no. Totally flabba, flapstaff, flabbergasted. Fap sauce? Oh what? no. What? Gross, where'd that come from? Wait, Genocide Joe, where'd you come from? So hello, hello, here. it's Wonder if it's Murderifus Fiend here to greet you with a razor sharp <laughs> smile. Ha ha ha. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? Oh, is this the pick and axe? No, you seeping imbecile, the pickaxe. <laughs> seeping imbecile, oh master, you, you're nice. <laughs> Bushwa, here comes the bloody nose. Seriously though, did you really forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest. Omega-3 fatty acids, that's what you need. Great for the old memory factory, but I think we already established their memory doesn't carry over when they not switch. Possible. This is a level of uselessness I find not that difficult to tolerate. Oh, the light bulb just went on. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. All right, we solved one mystery. That means there's one mystery left to solve. One more mystery. Yep, we always need to figure out the identity of Object X. Now what are you talking about? Did you already forget what we were talking about? You've gotta be kidding! I'm not missing out on life. In fact, they found one in the garden. What? What did you find? Huh? Uh, ka, 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 ka. Did you hear me? I said a corpse? A corpse? That's right, I found a corpse in the garden. You found a corpse in the garden. What did you Well say? then, before we enter the headmaster's room, we better look into it. Come on. We're going into the garden. Okay. Uh, it could literally only be Kyoko. It could literally only be Kyoko. F. I know those boots anywhere. What the? Are they really dead? For sure, but who is it? It's gonna be Kyoko. It's gonna be Kyoko in the outfit. Look, there she is. In Italy? That was a weird musical transition. Just to make things clear. Last night I was talking about someone wearing a mask, and whoever that was, now they're- No, it's definitely a different look, dude. I see fingernails, it's Kyoko. <laughs> Told you, there's a corpse hanging in here. Are they really dead? It's really a dead body? What? You need to be looking around right away, but however, be careful. There's no telling what you might find. Uh, I mean, I'm going right for the old frickin' unmasking. Yeah, and the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell what the body itself. The victim is total mystery, but one thing I do know... Take the mask off. <laughs> hmm. Their heart isn't beating. They're not breathing. All signs of complete life. They've that knife driven to their stomach. Their clothes are stained and bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the b blood that's there is still wet. Be careful. You don't touch it and get some on you. Uh, um... How can you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Huh? How can you tell? No. Well, I think I can see the outline of their chest and the general shape of their body. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then it could be. Ha <laughs> ha ha, okay then. Let's just tear the mask clean off. Come I mean, like, on. yeah, I agree. Wait, don't. By the time it was already too late, Toko's hand shot out toward the mask, and the next instant, here it comes. Oh, shoogity booga is a bomb! The body, it blew up! <laughs> is Toko okay? Come on. Jesus. Sploosh. Thankfully, it was enough to put the fire out. It died down, leaving only the unpleasant smell of burning behind. I guess that took care of it. But what the hell, man? It exploded? What did you I had say? a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode, and now the body... What? what, what? It's burned to a crisp. It's beyond well done, man. Don't compare it to a steak. It'll never be able to eat again. Without the body's chart, I really have no idea how are we going to find out who it was. Hmm. Who isn't here right now, huh? Yeah. If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow down who it must be. Um, There's only one person missing. It's um, Kyoko. Kyoko? And that dead body is Kyoko? No, that can't be right. Calm down, I didn't say it was Kyoko. 
But I mean, who else? There is one other person. The mastermind. What? 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 The mastermind? What the Come on, there's no way the mastermind got charboiled. Get serious. <laughs> I agree, normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering, but I have reason to believe it may be true. Mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move, and the master is dead, right? But... but that corpse is a girl, right? Doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember when all of your ghost said? So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. According to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems even possible that they're somewhere in the school right now. What the heck? He said the mastermind is a middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. Then could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate huh? despair, huh? Mukura Ikusaba, the 16th student, Hope what? Speak. What are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. What? I think you'd better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was... Ikusaba, that name? Yep. Uh-huh. We've heard this before. Sound like Yoko thinks that person's the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't right. Isn't the head? The headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. Well, I don't have proof yet, but I'm sure. I see. There's another student here, and it's a female that wouldn't match the body's characteristics. So, um, and the phrase "the ultimate despair" does sound mastermindy, don't it? Could it be? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl Makuro, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair. But she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot. How'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? What the None of us, none of this makes sense to just suddenly show up and then die. I think we better take a closer look at that body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Ah, uh, hey, wait, I was about to what? say, is anyone gonna, like, check on Toko? Um, Are we forgetting about something, you know, oh, Toko? Oh, yeah, she totally got blown up. <laughs> Forget about her, I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. Uh, let me see, she survived. Oh, she survived. Oh, what just happened, Master? Stop talking. You, de you declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen oh then i don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you exhale it's enough for me to live this is the strangest back and forth i've ever seen how you feeling this is coming out of the corner of my eyes for a second it's a corpse isn't it well i guess so i guess which is is it dead body not it's a dead body hate this i hate this i'm not gonna look i don't want to faint again yeah we don't want that either so i think it's best if you don't look Ugh, everyone's dying why why is this happening all right We've checked on her. She's alive. We're about 37 minutes in. We're going to end this episode here. Tune in next time for a deep look at this murder scene. The investigation's going to get started. Someone's freaking dead. I hope it's not Kyoko, but it totally could be. Could also be that other person. We have no way to know for sure. That looks good to me. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will catch you soon. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. Peace.